Hey, it's Yomi here. So today I wanted to do my most anticipated releases for 2019. And I'm going to be speaking about these releases really quickly because I'm not going to be able to show you the cover. So I don't know how pointless this video really is. But I just wanted to film this video because I want to hold myself accountable for all these books that are coming out. And actually like update you around May or June to see if I really did enjoy these books. Because right now I'm really, really excited for all these releases. So I just want to have that little update to have, be like an incentive for me to actually, like, actually do an update about this video. So without further ado, let's get into these releases that I'm really, really anticipating the first one that i'm going to be speaking about is called the girl king by mimi you this is a fantasy read and what i know about it is that it follows two sisters one is named lu the other is min and one of them is going to be the first female ruler of their kingdom but one day their father does betray them and declares their cousin as heir to the throne so obviously lu feels betrayed she goes on this quest with a shapeshifter i don't know what it entails but it does sound interesting like these is this quest going to be of benefit for her there's also her sister which is min and she has these hidden powers powers that are starting to um unleash so i don't know if it's going to be used for or against her sister i hope it's for because i want to have that really good sibling interaction but also a war has started to claim who's going to be the rightful ruler of this land it's something that sounds interesting i don't know if there's going to be asian mythology woven within it because it, it appears that way so i'm just really excited for this release the next one that i'm going to be speaking about is called dragon pearl by yu han lee this is part of the rick riordan um, presents publishing line and what I know about it is that it, it is middle grade and it is a sci-fi adventure with Korean mythology woven into it and I'm really excited because I've never read a story that has Korean mythology woven within it what I know about it is that we follow 13 year old girl Min and she is part of a long line of fox spirits the problem is that her family doesn't want her to show these powers they want to remain as human as possible but Min does not like that she want to follow in the footsteps of her brother and then she realizes that her brother abandons his post which is something that she finds odd so she sets on a quest in order to discover what happened to her brother and also her magic her power her skills are put to test and it just sounds freaking brilliant and the cover is just gorgeous so I really can't wait to get to that one the next one that i'm going to be speaking about is ship of smoke and steel by jango wexner this is going to be an epic fantasy story and it's action-packed and it's already been dubbed for fans of lee bardugo and also the legend of Korra. and i was like sign me up S sign me up because i loved the legend of Korra. i have to admit the first the third and the fourth season are really good the second one just it just destroyed my heart completely i also don't count it as part of a series because there's something that happened that just it made me cry so 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 much and I'm I'm just genuinely excited for this one. Okay, honestly, I'm, I'm excited for all of these books. So I'm going to try and not say that anymore. But what I also know about it is that it follows a girl who has magical powers and she's not supposed to, you know, hide her power. She's supposed to say her powers to her kingdom or to, you know, the society where she lives in. So she has them hidden until one day her powers are discovered. But she is also sent on this quest to steal a legendary ghost ship. The problem is that this ghost ship has never been found and all the people who are sent to retrieve it have either gone missing or have died in this quest to actually get this legendary ship and also if she does not return with the legendary ship then she forfeits the life of her sister so it's really beautiful to see how she goes on this adventure to save her family and i'm just really excited about it i can't wait to see what happens because the cover oh the, that cover honestly if i could show you a cover that cover is just freaking gorgeous but it's going to be on the thumbnail so expect that one the next one that i'm really excited about is on the come up by angie thomas i really did love the hate you give i think that she speaks about topics that are really really interesting topics topics that you really shouldn't shy away from especially in young adult literature and what i think about it is that it does pay homage to her hip-hop background and it's also about fighting for your dreams it's probably a story about self-discovery and just you know the realities of a struggling working class Class. so this is something that i want to see how it is portrayed within it i've heard that people have enjoyed it i think there's some people that have arcs already and they have enjoyed it so i really can't wait to see my thoughts on it the next one that i'm going to be mentioning is one that i'm just like just give it to me now and it's released in january and it is called the gilded the gilded wolves by roshani chachki i hope i pronounced her name right but this one when i read the synopsis it gave me six of crows vibes but instead of us following misfits it's like we're following scholars or like geeky people that were following it just gave me that vibe and i was like i'm ready for this one and you, they have been sent on an impossible mission to find an ancient artifact this is also set in 19th century paris and i can't wait i know that people who have arcs say that it is great diverse representation and the writing is just beautiful so i honestly cannot wait to get into that story because that's one that i'm really really excited about in january the next one that i'm also completely content with when it gets released 
I'm gonna try and stop saying that honestly it's the second time I tell myself but we're gonna see how well I do is sheer wood by Megan Spooner what I know about this is that it is a gender flipped Robin Hood feminist retelling and that's all that I needed to know that's all that sold me on this one and I'm just I'm freaking excited like let's just be real also the cover looks really appealing the next one that I'm going to say is the Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and some other guy I really don't remember his name I forgot to write it down but this one follows Magnus Bane and also Alec Lightwood Magnus Bane really spoke to my heart he resonated with me i just love him so much especially in the infernal devices it was when i noticed that i loved magnus so so freaking much and i can't wait to see what is it that he does you know i'll read cassandra claire until the day i die let's just be real but i'm not a fan of the cover that cover is just horrible just ugh. it's it's it doesn't look appealing let's just say that the other one is With Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I freaking adored The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. It was one story that I really did enjoy. She does deal with topics that are, you know, permanent in our society and, you know, things that we really need to speak about. And what I know about this one is that we follow Emoni Santiago and she is a Puerto Rican main character. She's also a teen mom. And the topics that she's going to be speaking about are just topics that I see day to day in my island. And it's just going to be what I think is going to be a wonderful story. I read a snippet from um her instagram that she released and i was like i am ready for this because it's like we're gonna follow this girl through her struggles through her responsibilities maybe it might be a story of self-discovery especially we're following a teenage mom so we get to see her struggles throughout her entire story and also the tenacity for her to continue because it feels like you know she wants to persevere in her life and she doesn't want you know to conform to society standards so i think it's going to be an amazing story and also the cover the cover is one that also sold me on it. I was just like, oh my god, this looks freaking amazing. It's, 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 it's breathtaking. It's just so, so beautiful. The next one that I'm going to be speaking about, and the final one, is Aurora Rising by my dynamic duo for sci-fi writing, and that is Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. They have teamed up once again to bring us a sci-fi adventure that deals this time with misfits, but they aren't your heroes that you want, but they're the heroes that you have to accept. Oh my god, you know what sold me on this book is the review that Jay Kristoff did on Goodreads. It was just brilliant. I loved it so, so much. And also the fact that we follow these misfits is something that I, you know, I, I have a soft heart with misfits i've just grown attached to them and i can't wait to actually read this story also another sci-fi adventure which is something that i'm really really excited about and also said that um jay christoph says that he's not going to follow the same format as they did in the illuminate files just because he says that that that's you know format has already been done no point in repeating ourselves even though i wouldn't you know mind if they repeat themselves in that format because i really did enjoy it but these are all the books that i'm really really excited about for the first half of 2019 if you want to tell me which are your favorites that you're excited for then feel free and you know let me know and we'll chit chat down below i want to thank you for watching until next time peace